a Danish experimental film, Antichrist blends sodomy and sadness in such a way that it sticks in your subconscious. After the death of their only son, a couple seeks solace in a cabin and then starts a cringeworthy and sadistic story of violent sexual behavior and sadomasochism. The movie is smothered with loathsome sexual scenes. Martyrs is a 2008 French-Canadian drama horror film. The film is based on the story of two young sisters who are the subject of torture and kidnapping by a secret group during their childhood. One of them later, when she becomes young, decided to take revenge from those who are responsible for her child abuse. The whole movie was full of violence, blood and gore. But audience get extremely disturbed during the last scene of the movie. August Underground Mortem is presented as a degraded home movie shot by serial killers, in this case returning character Peter, his sadomasochistic girlfriend Krusty, and her sexually depraved man-child brother Maggot. This movie is shot as a home video format and depict realistic murders torture and gore. This is surely the most disturbing movie of its time and it will leave you thinking for days about some of the horrific scenes like cutting tits, castration, torture and vomit. The way necrophilia, intercourse with a dead body, has been portrayed in this movie sets the bar for a film being disgustingly inhuman. It's so hard to watch this movie that the best we can tell you about it is this much, a road cleaner brings a rotting corpse home for himself and his demented girlfriend to have sex with and soon discovers that his girl is now sexually obsessed with the dead body. What follows will make you skip your meals for at least a day. Upon screening the Human Centipede was described as the most horrific movie ever made and was majorly loathed at by the audiences. And indeed, the movie is extremely disturbing. A deranged German surgeon kidnaps three tourists, removes their teeth, rips out their kneecaps, and to our utter disgust, attaches the three mouth to anus to fulfill his grisly fantasy of making a human centipede. The movie was either banned from release or was released on restricted basis in a lot of countries. Do you still think that Human Centipede should not be in this list? If yes, then you should watch its second sequence, The Human Centipede 2 and we are sure that you will regret it later. Inspired by the fictional Dr. Hitter, Disturbed loner Martin dreams of creating a 12-person centipede and sets out to realize his sick fantasy, this part is even more gross and morbid than the first sequence. The film starts with an ongoing autopsy that soon turns into a disturbingly indecent display of depraved necrophilia fetishes with the dead body. The movie might be just 30 minutes long but we are sure you wouldn't be able to forget it for the next 30 days. Relentless sadism, sexual depravity, and horrific murder, are the words that perfectly describe the kind of movie Solo is. Four wealthy fascists kidnap and imprison 18 teenage girls and boys, and subject them to sickening horrors for 120 days. 
Salo has been banned in several countries because many suspect that the actors subjected to torture were below 18 years of age. Australia banned the movie for almost two decades, and its uncut version came out in Britain only in 2010. Dozens of other controversies also blanket Salo's making and screening. Surprisingly, Martin Scorsese, and Alec Baldwin, among other scholars, signed a legal brief arguing the film's artistic merit. Cannibal Holocaust is a 1980 Italian cannibal exploitation horror film. The film tells the story of a missing documentary film crew who had gone to the Amazon to film cannibal tribes. A rescue mission, led by the New York University anthropologist Harold Monroe, recovers the film crew's lost cans of film, which an American television station wishes to broadcast. Upon viewing the reels, Monroe is appalled by the team's actions, and after learning their fate, he objects to the station's intent to air the documentary. Cannibal Holocaust achieved notoriety as its graphic violence aroused a great deal of controversy. After its premiere in Italy, it was ordered to be seized by a local magistrate, and Iatato was arrested on obscenity charges. This film is something so unexplainably horrifying that it will make you question the sanity of its director. The story follows a retired and financially struggling porn actor who signs up for something that's supposed to be an art film. But to his horror, he is heavily drugged and forced to film a snuff movie which involves grotesque rapes and extreme child sex abuse. The scenes have been so realistically filmed that it all looks insanely real. There are certain scenes you will never be able to forget. Thanks to this, the movie is banned in Spain, Finland, Portugal, France, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Singapore, and Norway. It's simply a regret to watch this movie.